Welcome to the latest broadcast. We're at RDL Technologies in Leicester. So first, we should mention the football. So well done, Leicester Tigers. Oh, Leicester Foxes. And rest assured, I won't be doing Gary Lineker and presenting in my underpants. We're going to have a chat with Ray from RDL Technologies. Then we're going to be talking to Mark Anson from Star. And we're also going to go over to WNT where Mark is chatting with Tony Pennington. So let's get on with the show. So over recent years, Ray, volume manufacture has gone to the Far East. Everybody knows that, but you, you're doing production work here. How have you kept it in the UK? We work on very basic principles. Um, we, we deliver on time, we're competitive, and the quality we keep uh, uh, second to none. And what, who are you making parts for? We do a varied range of components, automotive. Uh, we do work for DIY products, um, just, just general commercial components. It's been about 18 months since I visited RDL and you're considerably bigger. You've been bought buying businesses, haven't you? Yes, yes. We uh, bolted on um, a specialist manufacturer last year, a fastener manufacturer, Acorn Precision Machining in East Grinstead. And uh, we are currently looking for our next acquisition, which hopefully will take place the end of this year. So is that the future? Are you going to keep buying businesses? Uh, yeah, partly through growth will be through acquisition. Growth will also be through, uh, obviously, uh, expanding capacity and, and taking on existing work from existing customers. So, Ray, that growth, though, how's technology played a part in that in terms of machines? Technology is all uh, as part of the growth, to be honest. Without the technology, there's no possible way we could be continuously moving forward. Okay, and you've got a lot of stars here, so I think that's probably an opportune time. Because I know, Paul, you had a chat with yeah, Mark. Yeah, I, I had a chat with Mark Anderson from Star, so we'll go over and cut to that. Mark. Star is a big part of the strategy for RDL Technologies. How long have you been selling machines here for? We've been dealing with, uh, with Ray since 2004. Uh, and he's not only become a, a good customer, but a good friend over the years as well. But it's certainly worked with the amount of machines that he's got and what they're doing. Now, I know recently Star were at the Mac 2016 show. How was that for you? Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, it was all taught to, all together. Uh, I mean, we. We ended up picking up uh, nearly a million pounds worth of orders uh, in, in April uh, and sort of ran about sort of 50-50 split over new and existing customers. That's an interesting point actually because you know existing customers are great but you, you want the new business as well so that, that was part of that success. Yeah I mean we obviously need to uh, carry on the, uh, the relationship with the long, uh, long term customers but also we need to build the, the business with new new business. Uh, I mean, the support for existing customers keeps them coming back, but, but what makes new customers buy Star? Uh, I think the customers recognise, you know, really starting to recognise what the technology can, uh, can do for them. They also talk to uh, existing customers, uh, tooling, tooling reps, people like that. And is it down to reductions in cycle times, multi-axis capability? basically making parts quicker to make more money? I think everybody's now trying to find the, the quickest, most productive way of, of producing parts in one hit. And something big is happening later in the year for Star as well? Yes, we're moving to a new purpose-built uh, factory uh, over on Ray, Rainsway in Derby, next to one of the Rolls-Royce facilities. Uh, it's going to enable us to, to offer a greater service to, to our existing and also to attract uh, new customers to two star. So you'll have a big showroom there, a training facility? Yeah, there'll be a, a purpose-built uh, technology centre and, and, and also a purpose-built training facility that uh, we're, we're looking uh, to, to train the next level of, uh, of engineers in. Good stuff. Look forward to uh, coming to the opening. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. So, Ray, you've got two machine shops here now. I know we, we talk about star machines, but it's not just star, is it, with the sliding heads? No, it's not. This, this is all dedicated to star, but across the, across the yard, we've got a machine shop with Do Sands from Mill CNC, and also we've just recently purchased a Nakamura three turret twin spindle lathe. Okay, and we're going to have a look at some of these parts. Yeah, now, opportune we? time, so, cycle time challenge, put you two under a bit of pressure. So, we've got this component. Yeah. Have, have a little feel. How long has that been? Taken to, uh, that component, before you go too far, that component has got to be absolutely perfect. No burrs, no bulging or anything. You can't do that though, can you? Uh, I would say you're probably looking at about two hour, two minutes and ten seconds to do so. And I would say you do that on the SB16, the star. Oh, you cut your fingers there. 
Yeah, if it's burr, if it's burr free, yeah, probably around two minutes. Yeah, and again, the SB16. That part. What, 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 what about Colin? Colin, you guys. Oh. Oh, guys, you know my engineering skills. You know what I'd be doing. I'd be straight to NTD network and get one of my guys to make it for me. So much easier. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Ray, go on. That component's actually made on an SR20 star machine. Um, and it takes, uh, Joe was spot on, it takes just around two minutes to complete. Right, okay. One nil. One you nil. What about, what about this one then, gents? I, you, you need a, a bigger machine, so 32 mil machine. Yeah. Or 20, yeah. Uh, end holes. I, I'd say that's two and a half minutes as well. Four. Joe? Two. Uh, I'll on a 20 mil machine. SB20. Aluminium. Aluminium, yes. SB20, and I reckon that is one minute, no, two minutes ten. That component is actually made on an SB32 star. Um, Why do you have to go to the 32 mil machine? Uh, well, it's actually over 20 millimetres diameter, so it won't fit on a 20. <laughs> so it's a good job, I'm the engineer. Apart, apart from that. <laughs> apart from that, yeah, it, go, it goes on an SV purely because of the multi-drilling in the ends, and that takes 50.6 seconds. Is it really? Yeah. Now, Joe, oh. before you do that, that looks like a turn part, so maybe something milled? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, Don't say that's done on God, the SB6. It's a cycle time challenge, <laughs> lads, get it? No, I would say, you mentioned the Nakamura, I would say that's done on this the Nakamura. This is a brand new component that we machined on the Nakamura, yes. Okay, and? Three minutes on the Nak. Mm. No, less than that. One minute, one minute twenty. Uh, both slightly out, although again, Joe's the nearer of the two. Uh, just a fraction under two minutes on the on the new Nakamura machine. Same surprise. Impressive stuff. Now, every machine needs tooling, so we're going over to Mark, who's chatting with Tony Pennington from WNT. Thanks, guys. Haven't got the luxury of being with you today in the live vodcast. I'm here at WNT UK headquarters in Sheffield. I'm here with Tony Pennington, the MD. Now. Tony, big news, your new catalogue's arrived. Yes, Mark, it's literally landed this morning. Um, new catalogue is uh, 50,000 products, 6,500 new products. It'll be going out to all existing customers automatically this week. But if I'm a new customer, how do I get a hold of a copy? Any new customer can contact our sales office or their local WNT technical sales engineer and uh, request a, a new copy of the catalogue. Now, over 50,000 products, however, you've got a new milling system. What's this all about? Could you tell us what makes it different? It's the new 4910 uh, shoulder milling system. It's basically uh, got uh, eight cutting edges per insert with a true 90 degree angle. And what, what does it achieve that other products don't achieve in the market at the moment? The major benefit for customers is the low cost per edge in terms of uh, with the eight true 90 degree edges you've got a very low cost per edge uh, option universally ap applicable because we have a choice of grades for all the different materials and can be used due to its smooth cutting action on very uh, low powered machines also so universally applicable so if i'm a new customer existing and i, I want to ha look at the product or trial the product what does the wnt actually offer we can organize a free cutting trial at the customer's premises in their machine shop. All the customer needs to do is contact our sales office again or their local WNT technical sales engineer and we will organize a free trial. Well, good news. All engineers like the word free. Now, last time I saw you was on the uh, stand at Mac. Yep. We uh, was looking at the new vending machine, but to sum up, how was Mac for WNT UK? Mac was excellent, uh, an extremely busy show. We had over 2,000 visitors to the stand. Uh, the vending system, the new vending system, was extremely well received. Uh, we now have to work out how we uh, keep up with all those requests and, uh, and, and need for the new system. But in summary, the show was, was excellent. Right. Clearly, a proud Leicester City fan. For sure. For Enjoyed sure. the season? The season's been uh, something just completely new to every Leicester City <laughs> fan in, in, in the world. Um, and it is a worldwide brand now, which is fantastic. But yeah, um, hopefully it's not once in a lifetime. Do, do you think though, if you carry on growing the way you're growing, that one of these days the, the sponsor on there will be RDL? 
Uh, you never know, you never know. We, if we keep getting uh, good quality inquiries through the MTD network, it could be a possibility. <laughs> uh, never in doubt, we didn't though. ask him to say that. We didn't ask him to say that. <laughs> so on that note, is it about time to have the first machine shot penalty shootout? I think that is opportune time. So trainers, let's get trained. Shirts on, let's go. Colin, oh, Colin, turn the lights on. Is the machine? All the machines gone off.